considering that a lot of the function of beauty videos are like sponsored so you never kind of really know if people are telling the truth and if they actually do like the product one two three fuck it Hi everyone, I'm Joya and welcome back to my channel. So I really hope this is in focus because my last video I was like just a little bit out of focus and really pissed me off. So let's hope this is all in focus. So today I'm going to be talking about function of beauty. This obviously isn't a sponsored video or anything like that. I'm just going to be talking about my personal experience with using function of beauty and what I think about it. So if you don't know, Function of Beauty is basically a subscription service for shampoo and conditioner. You don't have to get on the subscription service. You can just purchase like a one-time thing or a couple times. But basically, you customize your shampoo and conditioner and you get to choose from a bunch of different options. So you take a hair quiz and you pick what kind of hair you have and your hair goals and things like that. And you also get to choose the color and the scent of your shampoo and conditioner. And you have the option to make your sulfate and silicone free, which is what I did. And you can also put your name on your shampoo and conditioner, which I think is really cute. So here's my shampoo and conditioner. This is my shampoo, this is the conditioner. As you can see on the side, I don't know if you can see, but it says Function of Joya, which I think is so cute. And I just chose pink. Um, I actually broke this, so that's really awesome. But you can see how little of the shampoo I've used and how much conditioner I've used. I would say I've had these for maybe like two months now, but I haven't been using just the shampoo and conditioner. Sometimes I'll like switch out. I believe I've had the shampoo and conditioner for maybe a month or two months at this point. I should have done the first impressions, but I don't know why I didn't. But then later I realized like I should definitely do a review on this. Um, because I do have some opinions. So on the website, I believe I got think I got the biggest size or this I think I did get the biggest size. I believe the duo together are around forty dollars, which in my opinion is very expensive for shampoo and conditioner, especially when it hasn't really done anything out of the ordinary, like amazing for your hair. But yeah, I'll get more into all of that later in the video. But for right now, I'm gonna show you guys clips of me actually using the products so you guys see how they are in action and we'll talk about it. Hello everyone. So I think this was third or fourth day here. Usually I'll wait a little bit longer but I just wanted to wash my hair for this video. And that's what I look like. <laughs> so I'm just rinsing out my hair. And now I'm using the shampoo. I actually broke it. It just fell in the shower, so I kind of have to dump it out. And I use like a pretty decent amount. It lathers up really nicely, which is something I like in a shampoo. And I only put on my scalp, and that is like my scalp massager. I'll link it down below. It's the best thing ever when you're shampooing. So I'm just rinsing it out. And now I'm using the conditioner. You can see how much I've used. I used a pretty good amount. Sometimes I'll even use more than that. And I put a little bit on my roots, just a tiny bit. And then I'm using my wet brush and just detangling. It was pretty difficult to detangle, not going to lie. You're going to see in a second, like, how knotted it still is after brushing my hair for a minute. So, yeah, I don't like that part of the conditioner. And then I'll just put my hair up and just let it sit for a couple minutes um, as I wash my body and stuff like that. And then I just rinse it out and then I'm done. Okay, so after using Function of Beauty, my hair didn't feel anything like completely different like so much better that I feel like makes it worth the price. I feel like using my like Aussie shampoo and conditioner does also the same kind of job and I, they're literally like five dollars each so to me personally I feel like it's not as worth it so for the shampoo or for my hair needs I chose that I wanted something that would help my scalp because my scalp is a little bit dry so I would expect like the shampoo to be a little bit tingly but really it was the conditioner that felt tingly which was I thought was kind of weird because 
I'm not putting like conditioner on my scalp. So I don't know how that would help. So I feel like the shampoo didn't really help that much. It was a decent shampoo, pretty good shampoo, but is it worth like, I don't know, like 20 something dollars? I don't really know. As for the conditioner, it's not a horrible conditioner, but I just think it's not thick enough for my hair. Maybe that was my bad. Maybe I need to change something um, on the quiz that I put, but I had to put a lot if I really wanted to detangle. It wasn't really that great for detangling. It didn't have that much slip. As you guys could see in the video, I was really working hard to try to detangle my hair. And sometimes I would have to go in for like way more conditioner as well. So I just feel like it's like a waste of conditioner and it just didn't really do anything for my hair. So I'm looking at my notes and it's actually $49.93 for both of them, which is even crazier. Yeah, I just feel like for what I get, it's just really not worth it to me. I mean, today I really am having a good hair day. Don't really know why I haven't had a good hair day in a minute. I don't know if it's because of shampoo and conditioner, but I haven't had a pretty good hair day in a minute. So today is the first good hair day, but I haven't really noticed any like big changes or anything that would make the shampoo and conditioner worth it. All the videos that I've seen on function of beauty, everyone has been raving about it. Even some girls with curly hair, like it really works for them, which I think is great. But I did come across some videos that people were saying like it was not good for their hair. And not, I feel like for these for me fall somewhere in the middle. If these were cheaper, then yeah, maybe I would purchase them. But because they're so expensive, I just feel like I can find so many better shampoos and conditioners for my hair that aren't like $40 every, I mean, I would probably need new conditioner every like three months, maybe two months. So I don't really wanna spend that money on shampoo and conditioner. If it's been working for your hair and it's really changed your hair like I know it has for a lot of people, that's amazing, that's great. Let me know down below if it has really helped your hair or if it really hasn't helped your hair at all. I would really love to see how it's done for people. Considering that a lot of the function of beauty videos are like sponsored, so you never kind of really know if people are telling the truth and if they actually do like the product. And I haven't seen too many like bad reviews on function of beauty. It's all been good. And this isn't a super bad review. It's just in my opinion, not worth it for my hair. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm not trying to bash function of beauty or anything like that. They weren't amazing products, but they weren't horrible products either. I will say for the conditioner, my hair doesn't come out as soft as it as when I use like my Aussie conditioner or any other conditioner. Um, yeah, my hair just doesn't feel as nice and soft after the shower. But yeah, I think that's it for the video. I feel like it's gonna be kind of short. I just kind of want to like pop in and just like say how I feel about Function of Beauty because I've been feeling this way and I haven't said anything, but now I finally have. I hope I didn't leave anything out, but I think that's pretty much it. There's nothing really left to say. Let me know what you guys think and what your experience has been down below and give me some other shampoo and conditioner suggestions because I'm always looking for new ones. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what other videos you guys want to see next and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.